hi guys isn't that greetings to you all my name is easy and i'm going to be teaching you how to use wonderpost so i've got here the installer for wonderpost that i've just downloaded from sourceforge so i'm going to go ahead and double click on it to open it I'll take yes and then it's going to walk us through the installation process so i'm english speaking so i'll just leave the default language and take ok i'm just going to accept all the defaults here but i encourage you to go ahead and read all the license agreements and play around with it so i'm gonna wait till it installs wonderfuls okay finish now once we have wonder post installed this is where we go to run it right here I'm going to click on wonder post it's going to be up in just a few minutes and the first very first time you run wonder post is going to ask you uh it's going to tell you a working database hasn't been uh, cannot be detected as the default database will be created do you wish to continue yes i'm going to take yes so it's going to go ahead and create a database for us and once it's done it takes us to the home page now this is the logo for wonderpost and here is the logo of the company behind wonderpost okay this is where you go to exit and to have access to wonderpost you do that in the form of a uh, by means of a user account and in wonderpost there are four different kinds of accounts we have the guest account this is the guy with the least access permissions uh, employee account the manager account and the administrator account that's the person with the highest access right permissions so i'm just going to log in as a guest and here is the ticket display, display area so once we have uh, products and all not installed uh, if we're going to make an order this is where our products are going to be displayed now this is the calculator where you specify the different units of products you want to pay and here this is where you add new customers now as a guest we cannot add a new customer as you know i'm just going to click on it and you see it gives us an error because we do not have enough access permissions and this is where you attach a username to this ticket you're on uh, later in the course we're going to understand how to use that this is where to start up a new ticket in case you lo opened up on the post and there was already a ticket there currently going on order you have to start yours and this is where you display the currently available tickets in the system i'm going to log out and log in as an employee just to make you see the difference now as an employee you have access to these other buttons this is where you go to cancel a sale and this is where you go to split a check uh, this is where you print the ticket you, uh, you can give bonuses here this is the kitchen printer and if you come here you notice edit sales this is where you go let's say um, you made a mistake on a particular receipt and you have to edit that receipt this is where you go to do that and to make payments when you when you receive money from a client you have to record it in the system such that we're able to keep track of that for you this is where you go to do that and this is where you go to view the customers currently uh, on the system now stock this is where you go to manage your stock you see products categories locations product attributes stock stock diaries stock movements and here we have all kinds of stock reports and this is where you go to do stuff concerning sales uh, here we have all the sales reports and these are different kinds of transactions you do concerning sales here you, change, you can change your password and uh, anytime you log into the system you have to check in so that uh, the manager can monitor your movement in and out of the place so once you check in you can either go for a lunch break later or a tea break mid break and once you're once, once it's the end of your shift you have to check out and i'm just going to log out and log in as a manager you get a difference um as a manager you have more access right permissions and here you can close the cash over a particular period of time and yeah this is where you go to do maintenance stuff like adding new users and 
you have to note that there's a difference between users and customers so we'll get to that later and this is where you go to add more roles if you notice when we logged in there were four default kinds of users uh, guests employees uh, managers administrators now you can go here to add more roles with different uh, access permissions and yeah this is where you go to configure taxes and resources that's where you go to uh, specify specific uh, permissions access permissions for uh, different kinds of users now this is where you go to get user reports and this is where you go to synchronize to do post synchronization uh, wonder post wonder post doesn't exist alone it can work alone but uh, to get the full power of wonder post you have to integrate it with uh, idempia and this is where the synchronization takes place and here we have other tools as working with csv files and other stuff we'll get to that later in the course and this is where you go to get information from printers uh, when an employee prints out the receipt uh, gives out the, the physical copy to the client and a virtual copy is kept on the system for managerial purposes so I'm going to log out and you notice by default the manager and the administrator have the same access permissions and you can change that if you want to so well that brings us to the end of this quick tour and i hope to see you later in the course in the next video thanks